I'm Mandy. I'm going to be your server today. Mandy Magnin says this is how she prefers to work, picking up shifts at restaurants and bars through the Hire app. Magnin says the flexibility lets her pursue her real passion, acting. At least if something does come up, I'm not battling giving away a schedule and having that added stress for an audition when the audition is already so stressful. Hire is the latest in a slew of apps driving the gig economy, where workers are called independent contractors and jobs are called shifts or gigs. But do those designations leave app users outside labor laws? Who's the employer in this situation? Is it Hire, the app that's connecting workers to employers? Is it the business owner who hires somebody for an hour through Hire? Is a business using the app to skirt around some of the laws and misclassify that worker as an independent contractor? Still, some experts say, like it or not, the gig economy is expanding and society needs to figure out how to make it work. This is great if you're a student. It's great if you have another major gig, you're working on a business or you have a passion and you can bring in a little money this way. It doesn't work so great as a model if you're trying to make this your full-time job. And that's, I think, where people have difficulty with it. Hire's Canadian co-founders seem to partly acknowledge the problems. Like traditional temp agencies that take a cut of earnings, Hire retains 19 to 30 percent. But they also offer a point system towards vacation days. As we grow, and hopefully by the end of this year, instead of um, you know a vacation day, we're going to partner with a, an insurance provider so they could get health or dental benefits or insurance. Hire is planning a major expansion over the next month into the retail industry and has plans to eventually bring its app to any company that uses shift workers. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto. So why do Canadians want to work in this on-demand economy? A recent survey found that 41% are doing it to supplement regular income, 47% want greater work-life flexibility. And one in five say they still need to or want to work while they're retired.